All right, so in the next few videos, I wanna show you some preset deconstructions, if you will. So we're gonna look at some of the included presets with Form to really help you understand how deep this synthesizer can go and things you should try when you're programming your own sounds. And so the first one I'm gonna start with is in the hybrid instruments. This is probably my favorite bank because you get the most unusual sample uh, material, I would say. And we're gonna start with this scrape pluck. Load that up and play with it a bit. So what I'm doing is just holding a couple of keys, hitting them at different velocities, and you're hearing all sorts of interesting, beautiful sounds. And I hope you're your head is spinning right now because thinking with possibilities on this one. What an amazing sound. So let's always go to the sample select and you can see there's a bit of a, a loop in and what is this? It's just some sort of a guitar plucky type of sound. I'm not even sure. But what's amazing about this is just some subtle use of modulation. Most notably using envelope two as a modulator on the sample speed, okay? How can we tell? Because envelope two is set to almost full modulation amount and some mod wheel here, which is gonna get you some interesting results too. So what happens is envelope two, the velocity is going to trigger how the sample speed plays back. Note that envelope one is set to zero velocity. Usually by default, this is at 100. So if we set it to zero, that means no matter how hard I hit a key, you're going to hear that sample. That's very important. So we're always gonna get a sound at the same volume, no matter how hard I hit it. But envelope two decides if I hit it really hard, watch what happens to the speed. It kind of plays through that sample at normal speed. If I hit it slightly lighter, I'll try to do half velocity. Again, same motion curve, same everything, just scrolling through slower. And if I hit it real slow, <laughs> we got this crazy kind of sound. So again, this is set to poly mode, so that's making this uh, usable. So if I just hold some and play them at different notes, you get these interesting jarring kind of rhythms. So to step this up a notch, we can actually put this into loop mode and kind of hold some notes. Crazy. Like, I just want to start writing some very trippy, ethereal kind of music. And then don't forget, there's extra controls with these macros or the mod wheel. Let me turn that loop off, because what I just did there, turning up the mod wheel, kind of adds some bass to it, which is turning up the additive osc and lowering the octave at the same time. Completely different sound. How cool is that? And then your macros. So let's just turn some macros and see what else we can do. <laughs> kind of destroying it in all sorts of ways. What variations you can create from this? Again, just using a simple, nothing fancy kind of sample choice and playing around with it. Uh, make a variation of this with far more interesting motion curves 
and you probably got something that's going to be bananas. <laughs>